everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Micromaster Hot Rod Patrol from Transformers Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy. It is comprised of Trip Up and Autobot Daddy-O. <laughs> if you're familiar with these characters at all from G1, uh, this guy's name was Big Daddy. But I'm guessing they lost uh, the copyright to that or they just couldn't call him Big Daddy so they called him Daddy-O. <laughs> Which is funny in its own right. Uh, but yeah, these guys, definitely nostalgic for me. I had these uh, original MicroMasters back in the day. There was another one that was a green car uh, where the inside was kind of white. If you remember MicroMasters at all, it was always like two color schemes and you just had the colors reversed. Like there was a orange one with a black inside and then there was a green one with a white inside. Those made up to four Hot Rod Patrol back in the day. Um, they're only doing two packs now, but I was really hoping for the green with the white because I really loved the shape of that car. It was like a very specific hot rod, which was very cool. Um, but these guys are definitely cool as well. <laughs> Plus, daddy -O makes me laugh, so for no other reason, that's excellent. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool little hot rod cars. Uh, probably going to be very reminiscent of the last car patrol that we got. Um, with the red and gray cars. I apologize, their names are escaping me. But they also show how Ironworks has the MicroMaster base, and so they have these guys on the MicroMaster base, which I think is a really cool aspect. Uh, instead of them being weaponizers, they're kind of MicroMaster base uh, transformers. So I think that's really, really neat, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, artwork on the top of the card, very cool. Uh, kind of, I guess, random thing to note, the packaging is a little different. Up here you can see it just says Transformers more than meets the eye. And the name of the Hot Rod Patrol is down here on the side in several various languages. Usually it used to be written up here, so that kind of threw me for a second. But otherwise, pretty much the same packaging. Obviously it's done in the new Earthrise colors. The kind of green and blue that Siege did not have. But I'm going to go ahead and get these two guys out of the packaging here, and we'll take a closer look. So here are Trip Up and Daddy-O out of the packaging. And I'm just letting you know that at some point I'll probably trip up and call this guy Big Daddy. So, <laughs> see what I did there? In any case, uh, just be prepared for that. But, uh, yeah. He has basically the hood of the car just hanging off the back here. He has really tall arms. They both do. Uh, they have a ball joint kind of toward the middle. And why is this not? There we go. So they kind of move around there. They have a ball joint in the hip. Movement in the knee, mostly for the transformation. Do have a waist swivel as well. So not bad. Getting a close up look at the face. A little indistinguishable, but it looks like he's got shades on. Kind of a bluish purple face there. Pretty cool. I like him. Daddy-o. He's like a beatnik. Anyway, next up we have Trip Up. He's got kind of a cool face. His head kind of looks like a cat, in my opinion. I don't know why. It just kind of does. Uh, he's a little bit easier to see. He's got the yellow painted eyes, silver face, green head. He's got really nice blue flames and Autobot symbol there on the side. We'll take a look at that more in car mode. His arms work the same way. Ball joint's about halfway down. And then he's got kind of the same articulation movement there. For some reason, the ball joints on these are kind of tight. It might just be how it moves with the, the waist piece there. But otherwise, articulation is pretty much the same. Just has the hood of the car hanging on the back there. So not too much going on. Oh, real quick, I did want to show, in case you guys were wondering... Uh, yes, even the little MicroMasters do have a little bit of that map like I was talking about in Wheeljack's review. So I guess you could cut that out and add it to the map. So I think that's kind of neat that they decided to include it on there as well. But uh, getting back to these little guys, transformation's pretty darn simple. You're going to fold this up. Make sure that these little tabs here on the side get into there and there. So you kind of just have to pull them apart a little bit. And then make sure that's all lined up. And then you just pop the feet there together. Spin it around. And there you have it. Pretty cool little hot rod there. Like I said, love those blue flames on the side with the Autobot symbol. Yellow for the windows. They actually painted all of the windows, which is a nice touch. Could have easily left these blank, but they did not. 
his transformation pretty much exactly the same <laughs> you're gonna move this around make sure this all lines up make sure that gets down there where it needs to go and then just pop the two feet together and there you have it he also has all the windows painted which is nice nice orange flames there on the side again with an Autobot symbol engines sticking up out of the front on both of them they roll fairly decently now I know what you're probably asking yourself do they have another gun mode sadly yes they do <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous but it's pretty much exactly the same as the gun mode for the other two car sets that we've had so you transform daddy-o like that you're going to flip these out spin this around and kind of bring this up a smidge and then pop this down and then this pegs into this i believe i think this is how this goes and then that's supposed to be the gun it's kind of weak in my opinion but don't take my word for it let's see it on the deluxe figure so as you can see it makes him ridiculously front heavy and it just looks kind of stupid yeah i don't know i i just i kind of was hoping that with earth rise they would just give up on pretending that these micromasters make weapons because they just don't i mean i guess if you had to do them separately i think they might work a little bit better but I still think that's kind of dumb. It's literally just a car with his feet hanging forward. But I think it's somewhat more uh, acceptable. What's the word I'm looking for here? Anyway, I can't even think of the word. That's how dumb they look. <laughs> but it just it looks a little bit better it, it, it pulls it off a little bit better accomplished a little better accomplished i guess maybe is the word i'm looking for singly but i still think they look dumb thank you wheeljack you can go uh but basically i think as little micromasters they're neat i think they have good paint applications i think they have good robot modes the really long arms is a bit of a pain when it comes to posing you kind of want to like push them in a little bit just to kind of get them to move but overall i believe the originals were the same way so they're just kind of imitating the original toys which makes total sense to me and at least these guys have a ball joint instead of just a swivel like the originals did so i think they work micromasters are fun i like them i still think the uh, weapon mode is less than desirable, but if you're just looking for fun little micromasters that have a cool robot mode and a cool car mode, you get two for ten bucks, which I think is totally reasonable, then these guys are for you. But uh, if you're looking for weapon accessories, I would say look elsewhere, <laughs> but I don't know. They just don't need to be weapons. Like, some of them work. I would say the only one that I think really works is the sword that first wave that had the two Decepticons that made the sword, I think is like the only one that really worked. All the rest of them have been kind of meh since then. But uh, yeah, blaster mode for these two, not great. Robot vehicle mode, a lot of fun. This guy's being, this guy's name being Daddy-O, off the charts. So let me know, uh, well actually you can't let me know, I'm still getting the hang of this. If you would like to let me know, and you're over 13, you have a Twitter account, you can tweet at me. My Twitter will be at the end of the video, and from there you can get a link to my Discord. So again, if you're over 13 and all the rules apply and all that stuff, come talk to me on Twitter or Discord. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.